Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we add a transition to only one of our clips. So normally when you add a transition, we'll just come to our dissolves, and with a cross dissolve, you will add it, and it will dissolve those two clips together. But in this example, we wanna have a look at how we can add it to only one of the clips on the left here or on the right. So what we're gonna do is position our playhead right between these two clips. Now we know that we're between these two clips by looking at the little L on the left hand side of the incoming clip, or we can use the up and down cursors and that will move us between those edit points. Now what I wanna do at this point is insert a gap clip. So this is option and W to insert a gap clip. You'll also find that option under edit, insert generator and gap. And that will basically add in this slug and we can use this to kind of add that transition. So essentially what we've added in there is a three second gap and we can then add our cross dissolve to one or the other of those clips. So we'll play this through and you can see now we fade out and then what this means is we can have a nice fade and then a snap into the next clip. So sometimes you don't want a fade to black, you want it to actually just kind of snap into the next clip rather than having it fade in. So we can use obviously different transitions with this, some won't work as well, but some that do, for example, the wipes, you can add in there and it's gonna transition to black and then hold on the black until we get that next clip in. Obviously, we can have the clip at the start cut out as well and then add the transition to only one side of that. And lastly, in this example, I just wanna have a look at how we could fade to a color with this same technique. So to do this, we're actually gonna come up to our titles and generators. We'll scroll all the way down to our solids, and then I'm gonna pick the, the custom solid. So the slug that we have here is completely transparent, and if we want to actually fade to a specific color, then we can simply replace this with a custom color instead. So I'm gonna drag down my custom color solid, and I'm gonna set the duration to three seconds. So I'm just gonna highlight it, do control and tap D, and then type in a three period, and that will give me three seconds. You can see in the middle here, hit enter, and then I'm gonna drag my transition to that custom color and delete my slug. So with this, we're fading to another clip just as you would between video clips, except with this custom color, we can obviously change it. We'll make it a nice rich orange and then play this through. So again, if you're wanting to add graphics over the top of a clip or between clips, then this custom color solid will be super useful or the slug if you wanna be able to kind of use the shortcuts to add in those gaps and gain a little bit more control over your timeline. Obviously, we're fading to a color we can do the same effect if we come across to the, the right and use the, the fade to color transition. But I really do prefer the, the timing control that you get with adding these kind of custom slugs or the custom solid. It gives you a lot more control over the time, but you can see here with the fade to color, we can pick out a similar color here and it will fade to that. And then we have some options for the the duration of our hold, and also the duration of our transition. So again, a similar effect, but we're getting that transition on both those clips. And if we do want it just on that one clip, then using this method will be a lot easier to set up. Now there's a number of different editing reasons you would do this. One might be that you wanna create a space where you might overlay type in between your two video clips. This is a nice way of doing that, of fading out one clip, having a nice long hold, using the gap clip, and then fading back in or jumping back into another clip. Hopefully this is useful if you're trying to create this effect in Final Cut Pro, either to add graphics in between two clips or to have that nice fade out and then jump right into the next clip. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.